What's up, guys? This is Justin Ryder. I'm a commercial broker and content creator in Lexington, Kentucky. This channel is all about doing deals and helping deal makers with personal branding and productivity. If you are an all commission salesperson, have you ever asked yourself, what is the ideal week for maximum efficiency, maximum productivity, and maximum fun or joy in life? That's what we're going to be discussing today on my very first three minute weekly recap. This recap covers week one of January 2024. Thanks for joining. Welcome if you're coming from LinkedIn or Twitter, places I've written and uh, had a presence on for some various times. I'm always going to start these weekly recap videos with one of the most important business development things, which is a cold call count. So I want to be accountable to you if you're going to subscribe and like and comment on these videos. Last week, I completed 17. I just looked it up in Client Look, my CRM. 17 of a desired 46 cold calls to a certain targeted list. Now, that's pretty pitiful, although it was a holiday week and we traveled half a day. And then on the positive side, I had two deals come together to fruition that took a bunch of time at the end of the week. I will say this, there are no excuses, as you know, and I'm actually going to feel uh, very great about tackling it to be able to come back next week and present totally different numbers. So today's video is all about the ideal schedule, like I said. Uh, the beginning of the year is a an amazing time to sort of sit back and decide, I'm going to retake control of my time. Don't know about you, but if you're a real estate entrepreneur, 2023 was probably a bit of a harder year for you. You may have felt like you were slogging a little bit. Uh, deals were more difficult to complete and get together, and there certainly were less volume of them. So I put together what I think for me right now is an ideal schedule to plan each week in 2024. I'm going to throw it on the screen now and make a few comments, but if you have a schedule, I would love to hear your thoughts. You'll notice right away I've got meetings in light brown that to me represent planting seeds in soil that are going to grow into something in the future. That might be reading or praying or creating or writing, and that is typically done early in the morning before a CrossFit workout. You'll notice on here I've got some activities in green, which to me represents satisfied clients and fees paid. Notice there are one, two, three, four, five heavy prospecting times throughout the week. Notice I've got a time in my day to name top three things that have to be done today. I've done this for a couple years now, and this has been a wonderful way to start the day. Notice also I'm starting every single day with five business development calls. This is a Sean Wardism who is a friend and great follow on LinkedIn. I'm pretty sure he's the most followed person in commercial real estate on LinkedIn. And he taught me this, start every single day, no matter what, with five business development calls. I've got plenty of time to slice and dice on deals to keep things moving, uh, whether that be uh, moving a prospect to the next level, processing documents, pushing along negotiations, conversations, all of that. And I may be able to shoot these videos, I'm hoping at the end of the week, to review a successful week. Thank you so much for checking that out. If you have an ideal schedule or something that you've had success with in the rhythms of your professional life, go ahead and drop it below in the comments. I would love to learn from you and revise this. I'm going to use this for basically the first quarter or the first sprint of the year, all in an effort to really do four things. One is close 35 deals, have 35 satisfied clients this year. Two, make 45 cold calls at a specific desired list every single week. Three, have at least three heavy prospecting times, no matter the travel or deal volume going on, but have three heavy prospecting blocks a week. And four, to read 30 books, which is kind of cool. Um, the Practice by Seth Godin is my very first book, and I'll leave you with this quote. He says, when you own your agenda, you own it. That means you're responsible without excuses about why you might be hiding or explanations about why you're busy. Um, super cool. I'll be talking a lot about books on this channel. So cheers to you for joining. I appreciate you coming from other platforms. I hope to make great videos that will add to your life. So thanks for joining me today. Cheers.